Rob vs. Sean O'Malley is taking place at the Sphere in under two weeks. Now, although the card is very underwhelming for a Sphere card, uh, Dan is saying that this will be the biggest card of the year, which it really isn't at all. And I, I would say, honestly, the UFC 308 card is better. The main event is going to be interesting, though. Um, I would say Sean O'Malley vs. Marab is a very good stylistic matchup. You got a high-level wrestler versus a high-level striker. So someone's going to get tested either in the stand-up or on the ground. Now, Sean O'Malley is a power puncher with a long frame and great fight IQ. But also Marab on the other side has great endurance and good conditioning and a crazy pace he fights at. But that is also coming to his disadvantage. Uh, Marab's pace is a problem for many reasons. Um, when you're fighting at such a pace and throwing so much, you are left open at times. And the way Marab really fights is he he puts a lot of pace on you, but he isn't looking to submit you when he takes you down or he isn't looking to knock you out when he punches you. He's just looking to win the round. And I think this is a problem. I don't think you want to give O'Malley five rounds to have a chance to knock you out. Um, even though that pace is crazy and the ground game with numerous takedown attempts, it could be a disadvantage for Marab. Это, конечно, не даст ему шансов на сейр. Now, obviously, if you give Marab chances for the submission, he's going to take it. If you give him your neck, he's going to go for the guillotine. But from what we've seen from Sean so far, uh, we've seen him have pretty good defense on the ground and not really put himself in those positions. And I think Marab can coast his way to a decision. But the problem with that is we know Sean, again, has one shot KO power. If Sean is losing the fight, he can still come back that last round and still knock you out with one shot. So I don't think that's in Marab's best interest to win this fight. I think if Marab does want to win this fight, he needs to get Sean out of there real quick in under maybe three rounds. But on the flip side of things, Marab's pace could obviously come to his advantage. We've seen this in the Jan fight where Jan really didn't have time to throw. Um, Marab was just constantly, constantly throwing, going for takedown attempts, and it was just overwhelming Jan to where he really didn't know what to do. Um, and this could potentially happen with O'Malley. Depending on whether Marab cuts the distance or not, it can make O'Malley not really think about what he's going to throw next and have him really guessing instead of kind of studying Marab in a way. Just because Marab is, again, he's keeping up that pace, he's throwing, he doesn't stop throwing. O'Malley's a counterpuncher. And you also notice in Marab that he kind of keeps his head on the center line a lot. You don't really see rolls or slips as much as other UFC fighters. And that is a problem. When you're going for a takedown, I think O'Malley with the knee is there all day. Kind of like the Marlon Vera knee um, is there all day. Up the middle, uppercut, it's there when you're going for the takedown. And when you have no head movement against a counter puncher, he's just going to throw straight down the middle. And what do we see Sean do constantly? throw straight down the middle throw jabs especially that two that he throws all the time i feel as if he hurts marab just because marab really he has the pace he has the endurance but he doesn't have the iq or defense in my opinion now we all know marab's grappling is obviously top tier but i feel like people shouldn't really underestimate sean's grappling as well we've seen him grapple in a grappling league where he got a submission over a experienced grappler and i feel like ever since the peter yan fight He's really been working on that grappling. We know he's worked on the grappling for Aljamain Sterling, but that obviously ended it early. Um, I think he worked on grappling for Marlon Vera, and I know f damn well for sure he worked on grappling for this fight. So I feel like um, we shouldn't really be surprised if we see Sean O'Malley stuff a couple takedown attempts. I feel like we shouldn't be surprised if we see Sean O'Malley keep up with the grappling Marab brings, um, just because he, I feel like he's worked on that for so long. And again, ever since the Peter Yan fight, 
I feel like that really showed him that he really needs to work on that a little bit more. So don't be surprised if Sean O'Malley shoots a takedown and submits Murat. That's not going to fucking happen. But uh, my official prediction for this fight, though, is Sean O'Malley. I'll give Marab two rounds. I'll, I'll give Marab two rounds. Uh, I'll say a uh, second round. Uh, Marab comes in, no head movement. Sean O'Malley just hits him with a two and uh, knocks him out. I don't think he's going to knock him out clean. Maybe he hurts him um, and, and gets the finish on, on top. But uh, yeah, I don't, I don't think Marab really has nothing for Sean O'Malley. Um, just because Marab really isn't a submitter or a finisher. He just likes control. And I just don't see that against Sean O'Malley. I'm sorry. I really don't. And uh, for anyone, any Marab fans, I'm sorry. It's not going to happen. I promise you. I'm really confident on this one. I could easily say that Sean O'Malley is going to fucking knock him out. And no one can say anything because I really don't think I, I can't see. I just can't see in a world where Marab submits Sean O'Malley. I could see him coast a decision. And if Marab is going to win, I do believe it's going to be by decision but again you can't give five rounds to sean o'malley so you can't give him chances to knock you out and um i think he's going to knock him out in the first or the second so i'll give him i'll give him i'll give him the second round tko uh and yeah that's my official prediction for the fight hopefully we get a good card at the sphere